This is an arc of current I with radius R. Let's find the direction and the magnitude of the magnetic field due to this arc of current at the center of the circular arc. For this problem, we can use the Bills of our law. dB equals to mu naught over 4 pi times I dL cross the unit vector R divided by R squared. We can chop the current into point current segments. The dB produced by this point current segment is that. So dB equals to mu naught over 4 pi times, and here we have I dL times the magnitude of unit vector, which is 1, times the sine, the angle between the two, and then divided by R squared. The R is the distance between the point source and the location we are interested in, so the distance is R. So it's the big R squared. Now we need the angle between dL and the R. DL goes that way, the direction of the current. R goes from the point source to the location we are interested in, so R goes that way. So what is the angle between those two? It is 90 degrees, and sine 90 degrees is 1. dB is a vector, so it has a direction. We can find its direction if we use this right-hand rule. We use the sum to follow the current, and on that side, we have the curved four fingers pointing out of the paper. So dB goes uh, out of the paper. To find the magnetic field, we will have to integrate all the dB. Because the dB produced by every segment of the current point out of the paper, to integrate dB, the vector, we just have to integrate dB, the magnitude, because all the dBs have the same direction. So we have the integral of mu naught over 4 pi times, here we have I dL, times 1 times 1 divided by R squared, and they all have the same direction out of the paper. For this integral, we can take out anything that is a constant. So we can take out the mu naught over 4 pi. The current is also the same for every segment, so I can be taken out, and every segment is the same distance to this point we're interested in, so it's I divided by R squared. And then, what's left in the integral is just the integral of dL. If we add the scalar dL together for this entire arc, what we get is the length of the arc. So this is mu naught over 4 pi times i over r squared. The length of the arc would be r times theta. So this is r times theta. And then we can cancel one of the r's, and then we'll get mu naught i theta over 4 pi r. And uh, that's out of the paper. Now what if the current is a full circle? What would the magnetic field at the center be? In this case, we can still use the same IDL, and the magnetic field over there produced by this point current segment is still the same dB, same direction. So the only thing that's changing over here is the length of the arc. Now the length of the arc is the length of the circumference. So the magnetic field equals 2 right here mu naught over 4 pi times i over r squared. The length of the arc, the circumference will be 2 pi r. And again, one of the r's would cancel. 
So we get mu naught i, oh, the pi cancel also, and then we'll divide by 2r, because it's 4 and 2 right there. So it's 2r and uh, out of the paper.